Good morning. Well, it's a brand new day, a new destination. Pardon me because I'm recording this voice because on location, the on location sound wasn't all that pleasant while we were riding. There was just a lot of wind blowing into the mic and I'm not professionally sound equipped for this ride. And so I am dubbing some patches of it. I'm re-recording some part of it as a voiceover because you don't want that annoying sound wind strong headwinds gushing into your mic and there's hardly anything audible after a point all of these interferences can get extremely annoying sound therefore i just chose to re-record some part of it dub a few of those and yeah so there would be a distinct difference between the indoor sound recording versus the um, the outdoor but pardon me because i'm not all that sound equipped morning rise and shine it's day three and we're good to go just let me just quickly show you from the tent this is the peak this is what you see so here they are of all the team getting together bring up their stuff the day three begins now the sky looks fairly clear it's a beautiful sky out there we were staying put amidst these these mountains I mean, you know, I mean, it's just covered from all the four sides and there is a nice plateau in between we got and that's where we stay put. Anyways, so having said that, well, I'm going to get going. I'm going to load up my stuff, going to get my gears all packed up, packed up and get going. Let me just show you a quick peek at what the, what the tent, the so-called Swiss tent looks like. It was not all that well insulated. Uh, so, Though we, I mean, I was okay. They supplied us with extra blankets, so that kind of made up for the cold. And that's what it looks like. The room pretty much looks like this. I know it's shabby and it was extremely messy. And here is the attached washroom. You know. There you go. Anyway, so that's that. So gotta go. Gotta go, boy. Okay, that's about it. And there's not much scope for a washroom. And so I haven't washed up, though I'm not smelly because you are, what, two or three degrees Celsius? So you don't perspire so much, you don't smell so much, though I have got myself sprayed around with all those kinds of perfumes. And yeah, it's a bright new sunshine day. Look at that. I mean, it's awesome. There is not, no explaining that. And yes, the night before last night, we happened to use some spectacular spectacular night sky okay and the night sky with some i mean i haven't seen a milky way in my life ever before but spotted the entire milky way with a gamut of stars all around and yeah also captured a few images to share with you guys bag the tripod and my backpack still remains I'll probably have to send somebody to fetch that anyways here is the dining area the black tent not an open tent and this is where we lit the campfire at the night 
and yeah, it was a beautiful time, no doubt about it. And they are, there they are, one cheering the other. Love that. Yeah. Doesn't look like I'm very late. Good morning, people. Hello. <laughs> look at these shoes. They once look look brand new. Oh, crazy. All messed up. So at least very disappointed. Anyways, have you headed to the dining area? Okay. Now there is something breakfast in the morning. Bread bread. And... Are bread on the door. Corn flakes is over. Huh? That's it. So I'll give you a bread and omelette. I'll give you a bread. I'll give you a bread. Bread and omelette. I'll give you a bread. I'm late. And I'm seriously late. My lips are kind of cracking, you know. But the chill, winter chill. And one jam bread. So it's cold, but it's food. Like I said, the hungry never complain. The hungry never ask no questions. So I'm happy to eat as is served. Just catch your own. Thank you. See, being late is my is my signature style. Nobody I appreciates that. And I don't appreciate that myself. But inevitably, inadvertently, I always am late. Okay. Though I'm sitting at the spot where I can see while they're loading up the stuff. Some are fueling some water for themselves. I'm loving it. I'm gonna grab a bite of this right here right now. Goodbye. Goodbye, so you are Goodbye. Day three begins now. Looking good for the day? Wondrous works of God's creation that eyes have beheld for centuries with fascination. Come along with me on this adventure as my ally to the towering mountains as they reach for the sky. Let's honor them in our traveling journal of rhyme, penning of their beauty after the challenge of a climb. We will walk along the great smoky ridges of misty blue, much closer to where the clouds leave the traces of dew. down as this board reads correctly behind me the board reads lay is at about 252 kilometers and we just exited Himachal Pradesh the state of Himachal Pradesh and we are now entering the state of Jammu and Kashmir the weather looks pleasant there are so many grades of colors it almost feels like a painting like God the painter is painted each and every shades in such intricate manner. Along these stretches, you realize every terrain is got its own challenges. See what I mean? Yeah, so there's a big puddle in the middle of the road. Okay, we're taking the escape route. Not bad. Why not? Yeah, so here's what I mean, you know, from the rubbles to the puddles to the concrete roads to the tarmac to the slush to the sand to the rocky terrains. Boy, we have done it all and we have a long way to go. Okay, so this speaks volume of the borders. Every border of every state usually... Uh, I mean, it's not all that maintained because it, it goes into this bit of a conflict, issues, all sorts of disputes, all of the jazz goes on. So it's not always maintained as such, hence it's just a little bit of an unpleasant drive, so to speak. And this is a clear indication of that. Boy, are we complaining? Well, no. Just an observation. Well, this is just the beginning, the tip of the iceberg. All right, so go for it. Go, go, go! The adventure begins on a new land, on a new day. Let's hit it! The day three of Ride to Nirvana. Here it is. Oh, let's, wow, wow. Let's push the boundaries. Let's push the envelope all the way. I so love it. I so love this. Boy, it's so fresh. It still is so beautiful, isn't it? Boy, you've been a great, great riding partner. 
Royal Enfield, as royal as it can get for us. Wow, that's a huge relief. We're progressing in the right direction, more importantly. That's a great sign. Wow, late 251, super. Kargil at 475, Srinagar at 683, Chumatang at 290, Upashi at 202, Loma at 355, and Hanley at 403. And that's goodbye, Sir Chu. Oh, okay. We've been asked to halt at this checkpoint. Okay. We follow the orders by the Mami because it's the border area and it's highly sensitive in every way. They need to maintain a record of everybody going in and getting out. Yeah, just helps the usual procedures to keep the sanity and peace. Here's a bunch of serious riders as you can tell. Geared up or getting set. Hello. Are getting set. I'm sure all of them are headed to Leh. You headed to Leh? Leh Ladakh? Leh. Sweet. That's beautiful, yeah? Where are you headed from? Chimna. Chimna, uh-huh. All the best guys. Have a good one. Have a safe ride. Enjoy. Cheers. So behind me is a bunch of tourists who just took off and they headed to Leh. So I guess this is a terrain, a terrain worth a try for all people around the globe. Give it a go and you won't know until you've done it. Trust me, it always seems impossible until it's done, isn't it? And that's the checkpoint and that's the pass and that's Ashima and the rain doing the paperwork. And that's the permission we're procuring. So we ride safe, hassle free. Hey, were you the one who's standing out and waving out with your kinu? What happened really? So the cab in which I was coming, the guy got drunk and I got scared so I got off and the guy, the car had an accident after a few kilometers. Yeah. Where are you headed? Leh? All alone? Yeah. Wow. I thought I should try it out for myself. Of course you should. Definitely do it. Anyway, so now what's the plan? There's no plan. It's no, no, but now how? Hitch a ride, is it? Why don't you hop on with us? It's solid, but if it's not a problem with you, we'll look. Of course, we'll just check. Uh, we have one space right now because one guy is sitting in the back of vehicle. Yeah. It's one. Not a permanent array. No, no, it's till whatever suits you. Ha. Till any point. No, no. If you go to Somariri with us, you won't get anything from there. You won't. Basically, you have to get down on Leh Manali, Manali Highway somewhere near Pang or somewhere because we'll take a detour from Pang. So uh, we take him to till Pang. Pang, yeah. yeah. Great. So, um, so dude. So as he said, we don't want to take you to a certain point where you'd be stranded and you would be stuck. I mean, with no rescue, with no way to get out. Okay. So therefore, we take you to a common point like Pang. From there on, you hit your own ride. You chart your own route. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool. So hop on. So here we are. We got our papers cleared. So we headed out, and we have a new rider with us. Okay, no, no prices for guessing. Uh, your name? Sayam. Sayam, keep your Sayam, we are with you, man. Once you find a backup vehicle, grab a helmet and, yeah, continue the ride with us. So there are these kind of stories, a lot of these stories you'll find along the way. Something that you need to appreciate is that he came this far as a solitary traveler, a lone traveler. Uh, which speaks volumes, you know, of him to actually chart out not the safest, not, I mean, not the safest, hence the toughest terrains and not the best of the spaces in terms of communication, in terms of commutation, anything. I mean, it just, it's just a very challenging space that he's you know, decided to just chart out on his own. And despite the initial trouble, he still hasn't given up. He still hasn't decided to take a U-turn back, you know. And he's charting out all of this without a plan. Not an agenda, no route map. And that's the beauty of it, to just not have a rigid plan. Instead, be fluid, absolutely fluid. Just go with the flow. That's an amazing way of going about it. And that's what this dude is all about. Sorry, I missed it. It just said, welcome to the paradise of India. It surely is, and you will know why. Beautiful nature. No man can ever create anything close to this, remotely close to this. This wide expanse. You know, the expanse is huge. 
Look at that. Some part of this river is frozen and some part of it is still flowing. If you look closely somewhere there, you see some part of it is still flowing and some part of it is frozen and some part of it is also gone dry. Yeah, sad. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Beautiful stone engraved they carved out I, I think if you look closely these patterns that are made on the stones these rocks are actually water cutting these over time cutting it and making these amazing patterns over these rocks there is some sort of wind erosion as well you can see that and the range the expanse these landscapes keep changing every eight to ten odd kilometers as you can see the colors the hues the shades the many shades of nature you've seen it in the movies fictional movies but this is a fact and what's the difference between fact and fiction it's just a three-letter word and the three-letter word i personally believe is you you can make this a reality today here and now don't wait no further i'm riding amidst these mountains no pollution no traffic no stress this is truly a stress buster not i not anyone else can travel the road for you you must travel it for yourself it is not far it is within reach perhaps you have been on it since you were born and did not know perhaps it is everywhere on water and on land walt whitman song of myself the pilot vehicle and he's been a great rider so far so good perfect you having fun yeah riding up so with that we are ascending up and getting to the land of llama loading up stirring up and cheers Gata loop starts here. It's a series of serious bends, 21 hairpin bends, turns. One mountain, 21 turns, intertwining and winding roads. And that's the 21 Gata loops starting. Oh, see this for yourself. Okay, because this is such a narrow lane. This is just there is just room for one truck to pass at one time. This is right on the edge. Now you know why it's called the world's most dangerous roads. And now that's clearing up. There you go. Oh my God, oh my God, he's just on the tip. Look at him tilting. Look at him as he's scraping along. Oh, look at the rope that tied it together. It just cut loose. They are experts, they are super pro. Look at them, they're just cutting it too fine. A little loose ground, and you are going straight down by about a hundred odd feet. That's a close shave. They're just scraping. Sweet. Freaking hell. Okay, so this is why clearly it's called the world's toughest terrains. So that's Gata Loops for you. Expected for the unexpected, trust me. Oh, he's not able to go and take the incline. Jesus, the curvature is rather small. So we will have to back it up. He will back up further, get some momentum, get some traction, and then ascend, then climb. That's the truck. So that what you see behind is the gutter loop. And we've reached the midpoint and it still goes on for probably about four kilometers i guess so that what you see behind is the gata loop seriously good stuff there we are ascending up from the gata loops to the land of the lamas cheers wish us luck 
See, we were once there, somewhere down there. And now we are here and we still have a long way to go up and that's exactly where we headed. We are ascending up to the end of Kata Loops. Finally, so the Kata Loop ends here. And what you see behind me is the end of Kata Loops. Absolutely scenic, absolutely ridiculous. It's just going round and round and from there to here and here and now. We are at about 4,667 meters above sea level and going really strong. Thanks to Silesh, rider for the day and he's been exemplary, exceptionally good. The rider for day one, day two and day three. Thanks man. Thanks Silesh, you're doing a good job man. And as we're going higher, the air is beginning to thin a little bit. As we're going and to the two of his riders, two of our teammates have taken to the back of vehicles because it's obviously because it's not meant for the faint-hearted and they have coped with some serious altitude terrains and they will kind of recuperating relaxing now they will be bouncing back on their feet and getting onto the bikes and riding on that's about it for now and that's two of them Ashima and Prashant you know what I mean? It can't get better than this. Okay? Some of us are, are, are acclimatized. I mean acclimatized enough. 4,900, 5,000 meters above sea level is not a walk in the park. I think the best of best, the healthiest of the lot also give up. Because the lungs lack adequate capacity. The lung capacity is not necessarily good enough for reasons best known to them. And because of that, habits and choices they have made in their life you know for the best of best to survive and that to survive on these terrains on such a treacherous road moreover on a bike not a joke trust me it's not a joke this is a roller coaster ride of our life in the land of the lavas and all riding on a royal enfield a great partner it can't get any better than this boy By far, it's been the most treacherous, the most challenging, the most excruciatingly painful ride of the day. Oh man, and just an endless road up. The road to Punk seems all of just 40 odd kilometers. Endless road. But through these roads, sorry, I'm gonna stop and salute these gentlemen, these the real heroes. A hearty salutations to the defense. We salute, sir. The real heroes combating day in, day out from here, right here, the highest army transit camp in the world. Greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. As it reads in the book of John chapter 15 verse 13. They fought the borders. is somebody once said it's not the destination that matters it's the journey that counts it's the journey that matters mighty nature in its true glory finally Pang Pang village which we are hoping to read like now it'll come now it'll come soon and finally it has it surely has wow what a ride good show man good show but as per the protocol, na, we should always uh, pass, let uh, army convoy pass first. No, that yeah, is that's what we always do. We stop. No, 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 no. Look at DJ. Rukwa deta aur fir overtake karta hai. Shamelessly. Sahiyam, look at your bag, dude. Oh, plus one. What really happened here? Look at all the dust, dude. Look at my jacket, boy. Oh, look at... Huh? Exactly, look at it. Let me dust, let me dust your back. <laughs> See, that's a lot of work, a lot of effort put in, huh? That's boy. Wow. Good stuff there. Wow. Good stuff.
भाई ये काली जैकेट था हां काली जैकेट थी द गुड पार्ट इज आफ्टर ऑल ऑफ दिस ऑल ऑफ अस हैव गॉट अ स्माइल ऑन देयर फेस एंड दैट्स व्हाट मैटर्स दैट्स व्हाट दैट्स मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट इज इट ओके वो वो जो दैट्स सयम जस्ट अनलोडिंग हिज स्टफ and this is his stop isn't it that's sayam right there who hitched a ride with us the state bus which will take him right straight up to the destination his destination there he is loading up hello traveler so there he is getting ready now getting ready all good state bus sayam all good all good unable to find what huh if you want your candle candle amazon candle candle paper book okay uh uh-huh. So as soon as Sayam found his Kindle, he split. Goodbye, Sayam. Have a good one. So that's some of us stretching in their backs. That's the Desi Jugad. So we took a small halt for lunch, meant to be a small halt. Ended up being a one-hour-plus halt. That's good. But yes, we needed to relax our muscles a little bit, stretch our backs a little bit. and we hit the road again all right and so we start the second leg of a journey of day 3 starting up from uh, bang to now headed out to search valley which is at about 77 kilometers from here i repeat at 1500 hours we starting our second leg of the journey of day 3 headed to search valley wish us luck second leg of our journey of day 3 day 3 77 km on this terrain not so bad cuz we've seen worse okay but there is worse coming up guys 50 km of really terrible roads really terrible roads that's a true test in every way for every individual okay so here we go we chose to take an off beaten path all right This almost feel like a race track, you know, for the off-road testing track. So we're putting our riding skills to test. So here we go. Yes, it does. There they are, and here we are. A 50-meter lead. And boy, and now that's a treat. And now that's a real treat. but we've almost flew 3 feet about oh boy ah in case you're wondering i'm grounded here i am look at that with the sky above and the road below me and i'm on the go whoa 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 there is nothing better than this stretch your back unwind until everybody else refuels and unwind and nothing greater than this just unwind oof let's see that high oh oh we're ready to go i hear the bikes people are leaving me alone got to go got to go got to go where is my rider there you are check this out awesome insane ridiculous to surreal man boy if it's all so lovely this is my first time on the bike on a Could resist, and I'm riding at a safe speed of 80 km over and out. From those Moray Plains, we're getting slightly off-road to off-road, off-road to our destination for the day. That's Moray Plains behind me, and this off-road ahead of me. 
12 minutes past four and 30 more kilometers to go 30 more kilometers of humps and bumps it's a roller coaster ride whoever coined this phrase and whoever said that it's truly a roller coaster ride that means that just only means getting out of your comfort zone try something out of the ordinary but try i'll push i'll push let me get off i'll push i'll push hang on i'll push okay fly 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 accelerate Look at those two wild horses, they're running wild and free. Wow, what a spectacle, man. Boy, do we know where we're going? No idea whatsoever. It's a road that leads nowhere. Where on earth are we? We don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. As you can tell, we reach one of these army checkpoints and the boys are getting super excited. Excited for a selfie. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you Thank for you guiding for us and protecting us and our families. You guys are real heroes, the real men. We salute you, sir. Don't ask me what I'm going through. Or any of us what they're going through. It's tough and obviously ah, it's only for the survival of the fittest. This is certainly not a walk in the park. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Okay, there's a minor hold. Okay. The situation here currently is after all of that ride, we're only here to be told that the Sumreli Valley is closed. Riding in the dust. This route to Sumreli Valley is closed. After 40 odd kilometers of this off-road, the road is closed. Sumreli to Leh is not going to be possible this way. So either we head back all of 45 kilometers and do another Riding 80 kilometers. Dust. China. 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 You saw the border, no? Yeah. China. China. Oh. <laughs> no bad boys standing in India and peeing in China. Wow. That's a classic make in India, boys. Don't ask me where we're going because I really did not know. Because there's some serious confusion in the group right now. Because suddenly the route just changed. Now we're supposed to be riding on for the next 30 or 85 odd kilometers. Starting at 5 p.m. Can you imagine that? So what? 
It's a f good 45 to 50 yeah, kilometers yeah. from here. Sure. Somebody give me time. Time is 5.45. My backup battery is also running out. The last bar. Please stick to some good road. At least the next one hour. By 8.30 we'll reach. Oh. There is no two ways about this. Just one way and one way to lay. Like they say, for every dark cloud, there is a silver lining. Every dark cloud has a silver lining. Look behind me and you will see for yourself.